Hi, welcome to tutorial point and in this tutorial we will talk about vector masks. Like in the previous lecture we did layer masks. So layer masks help us creating layers which had soft edges. But with vector masks we are going to create images or create masks with hard edges. So let's move forward and understand vector masks. Vector masks like I said creates hard edge masks whereas layer masks creates soft edge masks. So with vector masks basically we are using the pen tool or the shape tool. Before we move forward let's understand what is a vector image. A vector image is an image which is created by a path using the pen tool or by a shape tool. So that means these are basically shapes. Like a normal image which you have clicked is basically having pixels. So it is not a vector image. It's an image full of pixels. But with vector mask we have defined edges and once you scale an image or scale down the images or the scale, after scaling the images is as crisp as before. So let's move forward with vector mask. So like I said it's vector based, it's used by a pen tool and it helps in correction with the preview. So let's move forward and understand how do we create vector masks. To apply the vector mask, we can go to layer, select vector mask and say reveal all or hide all. Now vector masks are basically created in the path area. So if in case your path area is not visible, you can go to the windows in the menu and click on path and you will have a path menu on the right hand side wherein your vector mask will be available. So you go there to the parts panel and select the vector mask which was created in the first step. Now you have selected your vector mask and you grab the pen tool and you start with creating a shape. And that shape is actually now creating a vector mask. So you create that vector mask for your desired shape. Now you go to the layer menu, select the vector mask and you hit on current path. With current path I mean the path which I've just selected, I want to make that path the current desired path. And you will see that how our vector mask was created. So let's move into Photoshop and learn and enjoy how our vector mask created. So let's dive in. The vector mask in Photoshop lets us create some hard edge masking, whereas my layer mask was giving me some soft edge masking. If you're new to masking, you can go ahead and watch a tutorial on layer mask and understand masking in a much clearer way. Now, to apply the vector mask, my idea is here is to cut out this phone from my background with a live preview. So it could just come to your mind. I can also use any selection tool and cut out this object. Yeah, that's very true. But to have a live preview and have very precise selection, vector mask is a very, very powerful thing to do. So my first step in creating the vector mask would be going to layer and going to the vector mask and apply reveal all and here I have my vector mask applied to my layer. My next step will be selecting the pen tool to have some hard edge selection and if you're again new to pen tool you can go ahead and watch our tutorial on the pen tool to understand in a much clearer way. So I'm just gonna click around creating some anchor points. So I'm just clicking around and the path is being created. Again, I'm going to just connect it. So now I have rough selection and you can see that it's actually giving a preview of how my object is going to look. I'm going to keep my control key pressed to, you know, move around with these anchor points. So I have to be very sure that I am actually on my, you know, on my tool to actually make it moving. So I'm going to just again bring it here. So again, I'm going to bring it here. So with the pen tool, you just need to know that it can be very precise. It's all about how slow and how, you know, how refined you want to look to. I can again press the Alt key and change my, you know, so I'm, what I'm doing is I'm changing my curves into curves as my phone is curved. So I'm just uh, keeping my Alt key pressed. And changing this, you know, adding a little bit of curve to them. Again, I'm adding a little bit of curve to them. And then again, I can, you know, bring these curves back. 
again with my control key pressed i can bring this you know back to wherever i want so so it's all about being a little precise in pen tool and you know the more practice you have the more you know you'll understand how it works so it's just about practice with pen tool and knowing how it actually works so just with a little of control and all you can have any possible selection so, and here i'm having a live review of what i will my final outcome will be again i can so i'm having act load you know i'm getting to know actually how this will look again i can have my old key pressed and have a little bit of so a little bit of this. again with my control press i can bring it back again i can bring this back again so so i'm having my little reviews as well to see how it's working again i can just go ahead with these points so we're having a, you know a really nice selection out of it and we're also having a precise preview of what is happening so the moment the more you do the more refined you will have it's all about the control for keep moving my points and moving my my direct my path and again all to add some curve and I can go ahead and if I hide it, I can go ahead here and click on disable and you can see my actual selection. And again, I can go and do enable and I can have my vector mask enabled. So this is how you, we can have some powerful selections using our vector mask and be as slow to get a very refined selection.